people's friend, eh? You're a woman of taste. Aye. I had a lovely article about Millport in it last week. You know, I was reading that myself. They had a two-for-one voucher in it for one of the lovely restaurants up there. Oh, maybe want to take a wee run up there myself, you know? Round up a pal, have a day by the sea. You know, I've always fancied hiring one of the bikes there and cycling round and round the island, the wind blowing in my hair. Oh, my. Not that I'll ever make it to Millport. Why is that? It's my heart. Angina. I'm on tablets. No excitement, the doctor said. No strain. And I'm on the top floor, so I can barely make it out of the close anyway. So that's me, stuck in my wee flat, day after day. <laughs> so, just having another wee day to yourself then, eh? Wee cup of tea and read your magazine, all in your lonesome. Be watching the pigeons out your window, eh? Aye. Or if I'm wanting to rave it up, I've one of the individual fruit trifles. <laughs> I suppose you stop them, don't you? Listen. No, you, you probably not want to. What? Why don't I get two of those individual fruit trifles and come up with you and keep you company? What about the shop? To hell with the shop! <laughs> I'll just, I'll shut it for an hour. We, we could have a cup of tea and, and a gab. What do you say? Oh, and we could talk about Millport. <laughs> right. I'll get the keys. Oh. that voucher. <laughs> Any tin sweet corn? Oh, no. Uh, but there should be some in the freezer. Your trifle. Oh, well, never mind. I'll, I'll go and put the kettle on. You can help me with my work search. Don't move. <laughs> 